One of the most important roles for the balanced scorecard uh, in helping organizations implement the strategy is its use as a communication tool. It's a way for all the employees to see and understand what are the critical objectives. But this is a big problem. It's very hard to communicate the strategy. Uh, the balanced scorecard with its system of objectives and measures gives a certain clarity to the strategy that did not exist before. But you still need a process to get that message out to the employees. One CEO was particularly effective with an innovative idea. He made it a point any time he visited a regional office to walk the halls and stop randomly at one of the locations where an employee was working. The employee would look up, see the CEO over his or her shoulder, and uh, stop work, of course, say hello. And the CEO would greet them uh, and said, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I said, oh, go, go right ahead. At which point, the uh, CEO reached into his jacket pocket, opened up a piece of paper piece of paper was the strategy map for the company. And he placed the paper in front of the employee and says, do you know what this is? Sometimes the employee would say, no, I don't know what that is. Well, that was not a good answer. But it was not the employee's problem. It was the employee's supervisor's problem because it was the supervisor who was supposed to get the message out to the employees. Uh, assuming the employee said, yes, oh, that's the company's strategy map and scorecard, then he said, oh, that's terrific. Uh, could you explain it to me? So now the employee had to explain the strategy to the CEO of the company. Uh, few failed in that, uh, but some got through that. And then the uh, CEO said, okay, one more question. Uh, he said, uh, I know I uh, interrupted you, and uh, could you explain what you were doing just before I started to talk to you, how that related to one or more of the objectives that's on this strategy map? He said, the first several times he did this in the various offices, he was disappointed in the answers. He said, I also noticed that uh, after I left that office, there was a flurry of emails as all the employees wrote to their friends and colleagues in the, all the other offices and said, if the CEO shows up, you better be prepared to answer these three questions. You, what is the strategy map? Uh, ex what is the strategy? Can you explain it to me? And how have I done my job differently as a result of knowing the objectives on that strategy map? And it really emphasized the critical role for communication. And, and it's a novel use of information. N normally we think about accounting information or performance information as something to monitor and evaluate. But its true power is the ability to communicate strategic objectives to employees and align their day-to-day -day activities to the high-level objectives. Another company did something also very innovative. They gave every employee a pen. So, well, gee, that's a very nice pen, thank you very much, uh, but what's the connection? Well, in addition to being a nice pen, if you opened it up, inside you could pull out the strategy of the company. So the strategy map was right there and close to their heart. There's something they could always carry around with them. So it's possible to have some fun and still be very effective in communicating strategic objectives and performance measures to all the employees in your company.